Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 8.4, Increasing and Decreasing Functions. This is a great A star video, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So there aren't much to learn today, it's just how um, to relate gradient function dy over dx to um, the name increasing and decreasing. So it's really straightforward and I hope this will be quite short. And yeah, let's go on to examples. Well, first I want you to plot a graph. Um, well, x cubed minus 3x. To save time, I've got that um, in the background. So this is the graph. And you'll notice that um, the graph starts from bottom, goes up, up to a point, and to back down through uh, the origin, down to a, another point, and jumps b right back up. So what does this tell us? So we know that the tips um, actually on point um, x equals negative 1 and 1. So what we know about a uh, gradient is used to determine if it's an um, increasing function or a decreasing function. For an, uh, for an increasing function, it's the dy of dx will be positive and for uh, decreasing it would be the opposite negative so um, after we have differentiated this equation y equals um, x cubed minus 3x we get um, 3x squared minus 3 and this is the gradient function and um, um, to determine if it's increasing or decreasing we have to look at if the gradient is actually going up, uh, meaning it's positive, or going down, meaning it's negative. So when it goes up, it would be positive up to a point where x equals negative 1. It stopped being positive. And same applies for uh, x equals 1, where um, it started to be um, positive again um, at 1 and keeps going for, well, to infinity. So there are two ways of describing these increasing functions. When they are separated by something in between, you do two um, descriptions. First, if x is smaller than negative 1, which is from this line um, backwards, yeah. this, line ba uh, this line backwards is all increasing, because as x goes up, y goes up. And as well as that um, x is bigger than 1 also um, is increasing. And that is the line here. There. So when this x is larger than 1, which is this line, then it's going to be positive uh, gradient all the way. What about the middle? Well, it's going downwards, um, so it must be a decreasing function. And the lower bound of the decreasing function is negative 1x well negative 1 as the value of x and the upper bound is 1 so that is how we're going to write it down so for a two section line there's one uh, inequalities for each one and if it's connected in between of two um, boundaries then it's going to be like this so yeah that is 
um, basically increasing and decreasing functions. So, nothing is fun without <coughs> exam questions, and um, actually, the reason I have to um, get a, a, an exam question out of past paper is that I really have no idea how should I talk about increasing and decreasing function. It's so simple, and I can make question out of it without like drawing graphs and be ridiculous with values. And I figured, well, these will be have better numbers and better results. So yeah, I figured uh, that's the best way. So for question two, we have an exact question from AQA. The function of x, which we can uh, plot as quote to quote y, is a decreasing function. Well, we know that a decreasing function means the graph goes like this. Um, it goes downwards, right? It's uh, when x increases, y decreases. So hopefully that is a bit clear on your side. <laughs> and yeah, so we know the gradient is negative. It goes down. And f x decreases at, as x increases, that is factual. They gave it on the first um, sentence. So now they said y or function x is equal to b minus ax. And this is the equation of the curve or line that they gave us. Wait a minute, that is a tr never mind, that is just a straight line. So yeah, that is quite straightforward, is it? And for um, x is um, in between 4 and 8, y will be um, in between 5 and 7. But how do you find this equation? Well, because we know it's negative um, gradient, the relationship between x and function x will be completely the opposite. So when x is at its minimum, y will be at its maximum. So when x is 4, y will be 7. So we can confidently give these two uh, statements right here because it's negative uh, relationship. x, if it's small, then y is going to be huge. Uh, if x is huge, y is going to be tiny. So now we've got two equations. Just fit those x and y's into the equation and see, simultaneous equation. Um, we're familiar with that and we now have the answer a is half, b is 9. So that is, well, exam example done for you. Yeah, be pleased about that. <laughs> And again, for tips, I'm not gonna give any um, questions because um, not because I'm lazy, uh, not because I'm ill. It's because there aren't much to talk about, and it's really straightforward. And I don't think there's a need for talking about these because the chances that a paper will have uh, increasing and decreasing functions are quite small and yeah that question that I used is actually the only question I can find that uses um, increasing and decreasing functions so um, yeah that's it for this video if you enjoyed it um, please leave me a like uh, if you learned something then please uh, do leave me a comment and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time.